Ryan's a pro. It's crazy because initially it was sort of this bad news. About what? You can't go on tour with us. And now Ryan gets to play music again in front of these great crowds. Billy gets to celebrate the birth of the baby. Everybody was. Billy's fifth baby on the way. I'm happy for anybody who is man enough to have a family that large, you know? That takes some guts. It seemed like a great thing for both of us. My not having toured in a couple years, so it gave me an opportunity to play for a lot of people and go to some places that I've never been. We've only been in Russia, Moscow, St. Petersburg, so we anywhere else. Those are like big cities. Um, we like to go and see different places, so we play for fans where we've never been before. But I've always wanted to see the Black Sea, so it's good to be here. What is uh, sex on the beach for you? It's like sandpaper. Yeah. It feels good, it hurts. <laughs> we came to play for you guys, so we're excited, you know? pretty stressful leading up to it because we'd only had that short rehearsal in Missoula um, where I think I played a little over half the set, maybe two-thirds of the set. That first show was scary. Um, I wanted them to be pleased uh, so badly, the people pleaser in me, and I just can't help it. But I wanted them to be happy and, and feel like I was there to represent them and not there just to represent myself. Ryan filling in. We're uh, bummed that Reggie's not with us, but they're having a baby and we wish them all the best. Ryan's gonna step in and, and freaking kill it for us tonight. So we're looking, I'm a big Mud Fane fan, so I'm looking forward to having Ryan see what he's got to bring to the table. Look at that guy, I mean, come on, with pecs like this, well, come on. How can he not throw down? You ready for this? Don't get nervous, Ryan, don't be nervous. It's just 70,000. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's like nothing, he plays in his backyard. Dude. 10 minutes, don't be nervous, Ryan. that I came from, Mudvayne World, were like this on the stage constantly. So the first thing I do, start playing and I'm to the other side of the stage, <laughs> jamming. I'm sure Monk's like, get the fuck out JD's like, I'm gonna kill him, man. Crap. I'm like one song in the first show and I'm already fucking everything up. Great. I won't make that mistake again. First time that I heard Korn, I had a roommate. I played in the band with him, and uh, he said, "Man, you gotta hear this." And he had a great stereo and turned it up. The first Korn record started. It was so brutal, and uh, I listened to Carcass and Death and Obituary and Morbid Angel and all the you know, the heavy stuff. But this had its own twist to it. The parts and pieces are unique. Man, it really changed everything. These guys are awesome uh, musicians and amazing people, man. So, yeah, they were gonna be big. Saying that it didn't have some impact on us or every other band that was playing heavy music at the time is uh, probably short-sighted. Now, would you get the fuck out of my face? Now, would you 
sounds great in my ears. He sings so beautifully every night. I get to listen to him sing those songs in my ears every single night. Not monitors, you know, my in-ears, so it's in my head. He's in my head. Damn you, Jonathan. I see some people out in the crowd that are really not all that pleased that I'm up there doing it, but then there are people who are just jamming with me and jamming with their band. And uh, that's special. I'm proud to be part of it. got a really cool groove. He's a more kickback, pocket, simple parts. There's no junk. Of course he has fun playing live, but the writing and the parts are intentionally pared down so that each note really matters and is an integral part of the song. His sound is so identifiable. From the first note of the first record, you know it's him. You know, I had great big shoes to fill stepping into the position because I had to sound like him, not me. Obviously, I'm my own performer. I can't perform like Feely. I don't. I mean, he's just cool. He just kind of sits back and does his thing and, and jams, man. He's got like the cool vibe. I'm not cool like that. I got a headbang, you know. play the show and uh, I get this text from Greg that says heard you got the corn gig kick ass and that's all he said he's uh, a master of brevity I truly didn't expect that from him and because we've been so separate and they went off and did their thing and uh, he reached out and I was really thankful there's some bad blood there but JD encouraged me to send something positive back he got something in reply that said that I love him and that I miss him because it's the truth. I miss my band, you know? It's very odd that that happened at that moment. And, but JD was there to step in and uh, help me do the right thing. Hm. He's already been there for me more than once, so hope to return the favor someday. What's up, y'all? Thank you guys so much for coming out to the show tonight. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for inviting us to your country. It's a dream come true.